Hi, I'm Tiffany Stuckey with Arts House Una Talks. Uh, it's great to be back meeting with amazing people like Sarah Jubeck of Paint Party by Sarah. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Arts House Una Talks. So uh, to begin, we have Paint Party by Sarah. We're in your studio, which is amazing. Uh, how did it get its start? So I started Paint Party by Sarah as private lessons in my home. And then I had, I was in a group called Mom's Club and which is with how you, I you. <laughs> with you, which is awesome. Yeah. So, and then I had some moms that wanted to have a paint party because it was a new popular thing at the time. So I did some research. How am I gonna do this? I don't know what it is. So uh, we did some research and my first group of paint partiers was the Moms Club. It was a bunch of moms that wanted to have a night out and have fun, maybe drink a little wine, kid free. So, exactly, yeah. exactly. Now, I know that you're a very accomplished artist yourself. How does that, what is your background and how does that tie into what you do here at Paint Party by Sarah? Um, well, thank you for saying that, first of all. I don't know that I'd say I'm an accomplished artist, but I try every day to, you know, learn a bit more about art and I yeah. do exhibit my own work outside of the the work that I make in studio for the yeah. classes. Um, that was Elena over there. Her daughter some just noises. turned one. She's she so just cute. turned one. <laughs> um, so, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> so, so you're you have this background as an oh, artist, and I know right. you've shown you have had different shows at different places, like even yeah. in Harrisburg. Yeah. Um, so, how does that tie in? Like, how did that become what you do for a living? Sure, sure. So. I like to think that uh, what I do here is definitely an extension of my my own personal work. Um, I like to incorporate different techniques that I use in my classes. Um, the work that I've shown, it's been in uh, galleries from Chicago to Harrisburg. So. Um what types of programs and parties are offered? I know that you um, have a variety of people that come and teach classes with you. What kind of things do you offer here at the studio? Okay, so we started offering a bunch of new classes recently. We added on a bunch of new teachers. We have Michael Kensinger who teaches watercolor. I have Jen Kelly, she teaches uh, wreath classes. Debbie Decker started teaching yoga in January and that's kind of a, an eight week uh, ongoing series that she does. Um, we do paint parties, we do acrylic pouring. Um, this is an example of uh, something we're gonna be starting soon. It is the alcohol inks on glass, which is a really fun uh, abstract <laughs> and very colorful. You can do so many things with it. Um, and it's very free flowing. So, I know Corey Geishauser is doing cartooning. Yeah. Yes, starting Corey Geishauser, starting in March, is going to be teaching cartooning for kids, and that is a five-week class. Um, what else do we have going on? We are going to be doing the superhero day for the Mirror Moms. We do face painting there every year. I'm checking my schedule here to see what else we have coming up. There's a lot of private events that we do, a lot of paint parties, kids paint parties, uh, Mommy and Me, um, we do bachelorette the parties. bachelorette parties, we, um, we've been marbling on scarves and paper, we do a lot of different types of uh, classes including uh, terrariums, we're going to start again this spring and summer. and. Yeah, we, we're open to new suggestions. Yeah. Uh, we do cake decorating. Yeah, so there's edible art as well. Edible so. art, cake decorating, <laughs> So with Rachel decorating. Bites. Yep. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a lot of cool pretty things. amazing. And they, there was the metal stamping thing too that you Yeah, did, so Rebecca Locke came for a metal stamping class. I'm hoping to get her back again. She That's a lot of fun, very addictive with the hammering. You just take out all your aggression on that piece of metal and it looks really cool and rustic when you're done. It's a nice gift, so. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, what ages do your programs reach? So we, I know we've talked about a lot of different techniques and different types of things. Where, where do you go? Sure. So is it all ages or? Yeah, so our classes are geared to all different ages. Um, the kids' classes, 
we've had two-year-olds come to our kids' classes, and we've had um, people in their 70s and 80s come to the adult classes. You know, you don't have to be a certain age. It's not for a certain type of people, and it's open to all abilities. You can, you know, be a beginner or have some experience, or you could be advanced and just want to come and have a good time and experience something fun. So, right. yeah. Now, why, why Altoona? What makes Altoona a special place for you to do this? What? When I moved to Altoona, um, it took me two years to figure out that there was a museum here. So, but once I found out that there was a museum here, I thought, this needs to be something that people know about. People need to know about the art scene. It's like, it's a hidden gem. And I feel like Altoona is this up and coming city that this, the art scene can be really cool. It's gonna end up being really awesome, I think, with all of the artists that are participating at this time. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, could you share a few uh, memorable uh, experiences or moments um, that from classes or uh, different parties that you may have done? Okay, so something that people don't think about maybe is that our classes might make you emotional because you know you're you're you know being free or maybe getting lost in your thoughts while you're painting. Um, I remember one class where a lady just started crying. And I asked, you know, are you okay? And she said, um, yeah, my husband passed away last week. And I said, okay. And she's like, it was a painting of a tree with their initials in the middle of it. And so it brought up all those feelings and those memories for her. And then it came out that they were all there. All the people that were there it was a private event to support this woman and the loss of her husband and um, it was just, it just became this really cool bonding experience for me and these people. So I got to be included in that. So right. it was pretty amazing. It kind of highlights the, the reason why art is so important. Exactly. In life. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, who or what inspires your work? Who or what inspires my work? The work that I do here, my children inspire it 100% because I kept going with this business because I wanted my son to have these experiences. Right. Oh, here she goes again. <laughs> She's okay. so cute. Thanks. <laughs> Even the whimper. You know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that I want to keep going for for them. And right. he thinks someday it's going to be Paint Party by Brayden. I'm oh, like, nice. okay, yeah, you can change the name, <laughs> sure, we'll let you. But, you know, I, I wanted to do these classes so that they could learn these things and have these experiences and, right. you know, do all these things with the community. So it's pretty That's amazing. That's wonderful. Now, as we're finishing up, what, what does the future hold for Paint Party by Sarah? What's on the yeah. horizon? Anything coming up? Um, well... I would say that we are going to be continuing to grow and expand and try to develop the community of artists that we have here and work with the community outside of here. Uh, last fall, we added on a second room for a, a second classroom, and I can see us adding another classroom, and I can see us finding another location to add on to this and just keep building and um, adding on more, more artists and more people um, and helping support them because without them, you know, I don't feel like this is going to be as big as it could be, you know. Right. They help make this such an amazing experience for everybody and help well, like, round out uh, our class structures and everything. Their experiences and their input help me organize things better. Well, that's exciting. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Um, and now, audience, it's your turn to share. I hope that you will just join in the discussion by leaving a comment below. Does this video inspire you in some way? Do you have a relevant story to share with our subscriber community? If so, let us know. Um, and if you haven't had the opportunity, please like this video and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube and on our Facebook page at Arts Altoona. We have a weekly newsletter that has something for everyone in Blair County. And thank you audience for your part in ensuring that everyone knows how amazing the Blair County community is and about the people like Sarah Jubeck of Paint by, by Sarah that helped to make it that way. We hope to see you next time on Arts Altoona Talks.